day thrivers I want to have a conversation with you about personal responsibility versus blame and how that ties into surviving narcissistic abuse or thriving from narcissistic abuse so blame would be like saying it's my fault that I got narcissistically abused and a lot of people call this victim shaming and I've even been accused of doing that in the um, in the thriver community, people say, well, you know, Melanie, you're blaming victims, etc., etc." And uh, that's not what I'm doing at all. What I want to do is empower victims to no longer be victims so that they can thrive. And that's done by radical personal responsibility, which means if the trauma is in my body, only I can turn inwards and heal it. That's radical personal responsibility in a thriver sense okay and it's the absolute acknowledgement that people who've abused us who have put the trauma there and let's face it none of us asked for trauma none of us deserved it none of us uh, decided that that was the life that we wanted to live it definitely happened to us and we could really say that anybody who's been traumatized we didn't start that way as a part of source, as a part of the universe, consciousness, God, if you like. We were all a part of that oneness and that love at some point in time. But what happened was there was an outer force that caused us to be damaged and to internalize wounds, which is trauma. Now, if we expect somebody who has created our trauma to come along and release that trauma and reprogram it and up level it for us we're going to be waiting a very very long time because here's the thing it's traumatized people that traumatize people it's hurt people that hurt people and a lot of people don't like to hear that but it's the absolute truth so if somebody has been disconnected from their source and their soul and their higher self because of trauma because they were in a traumatized family and then they ended up being a perpetrator well they haven't even sorted out their own trauma let alone being available to sort out yours so what happens is when we want to stay a victim and we want to look outwards and we want to keep blaming other people even if we're not blaming ourselves the inner being, our inner being, our inner consciousness only knows vibrational emotion. It doesn't logically discern. It knows no difference between you blaming somebody else or blaming yourself. It's all shame. It's all toxic. It all adds to the trauma and it keeps you enmeshed in it without an ability to be able to release it and move out of it. So this is where, from the thriver point of view, once we stop blaming ourselves and we say you know I was a divine being at some point in my in my evolution in my experience absolutely I was and what's happened is I've taken on trauma from the outside and this is not about assigning blame this is about releasing this trauma and up leveling myself and graduating to a higher version of myself where I will be able to have boundaries and speak up and I can take care of myself and I can choose healthily and I can take my time in relationships to work out the character of people and I can set myself free. And that's what the radical personal responsibility is all about. If we stay a victim and we stay in blame, there is no possibility of moving forward onto that trajectory. I hope this makes sense for you and if you know like I was for a long time, that you're still stuck in blame of yourself and others and you haven't yet taken the radical personal responsibility to say, if the trauma's in my body, only I can turn inwards to do that inner recovery work and healing work and free myself. If you know you haven't taken that step and you don't even really know what that looks like or what that would feel like, I would love you to come into my free webinar because I explain it in really great detail and even take you through a powerful quantum freedom healing to start that inner liberation process. I'd love you to join me for that. Okay. I hope this gives you hope that you can heal absolutely and move past being a victim. Lots of love. Bye-bye.